What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. This is Juju the Gamer here, aka your favorite gamer. I am back with more judgment. Uh, as you can tell last episode, we caught a detective trying to make some shady broker deals. Um, so now we have to head to Genda's office. We have records. Ooh. Ooh. We can find records all throughout Kamarocho. I hear they've got some extra fancy dorayaki at the Popo over on Tenkaichi Street. Even come in a box. Huh? Well, Genda Sensei's got a pretty big sweet tooth, if you get me. Right. I'll go pick some up. Okay. And so, I guess now we have to, um, start heading to the stores and stuff. This is actually gonna be interesting. Okay, so how do I bring up map again? Oh yeah, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Um, I'm here, right? Where is the? Oh, I can actually. Wow, I can do about um. You know what? They actually split it up this time. Okay. Okay, so the Popo on Tinkaichi Street. Place pin. Let's go. And as long as we don't run into any uh any small fries. Which I mean that they'll be easy to take care of. What was that? Say? Jungle boy. Huh. I found it. The one black person in Japan. <laughs> Let me stop playing. <laughs> That definitely just sounded like somebody in English trying to say Arigato gozaimasu. Just said it all wrong. Work on your Japanese, sir. So now we're going back to up. Oh, oh, to get. What's going Hold on? on there, pal. You just bought some of them Doriaki, yeah? Sorry. But they're mine now. Uh, are they? Look, I've been after one of those things for days now. And you just bought the last fucking box. Can't stand for that, right boys? Wow. Well, can't argue with that logic. What was that, smartass? Let's do this. There's wall jumpings? Oh, wait a second. I gotta try this out. Hold on. Yo! Yo! Uh, okay, let, let, let me stop. <laughs> Ooh! Ooh! You can also spend SP to boost base stats such as health and attack or learn various battle skills. There are also some skills you must unlock by meeting certain requirements. For the time being, try learning wall jump finisher for your from your battle skills. Oh, just this one? Hold on, hold on. <laughs> oh my goodness! <laughs> oh, I'm gonna have some fun with this. Ah, oh, missed. Come here. Have you had enough? Hey! 
Always getting into trouble. <sighs> Captain Hamura. Ah, the Tojo clan. Welcome back. Let go! You, uh... Our boy Tuck here doesn't start shit without a real good reason. And that means... It was you. You dumbasses jumped the wrong guy. Uh, no. Uh... You know this guy's like a son to the Matsugani Patriarch, right? Know what I'm trying to say, asshole? Hey, come on, Cap. Can't we just let it be? No can do. <laughs> this right here just became a matter of Matsugane family honor. I'm sorry. <laughs> Kengo, you haven't met our buddy Tuck here, have you? He's a guy you want to know. Hotshot detective type. Right. It's good to meet you. The boss paid his way through law school back in the day. Made him into a damn good attorney. Guy even managed to get a bona fide serial killer off the hook. Seriously? Wow, that's incredible. <laughs> right? Damn shame seeing talent like that go to waste. Huh, totally! <laughs> Get this, though. The first thing that killer did when he got loose? Stabbed his girlfriend to death. Can you believe that? <laughs> Are they talking about Okubo? Oh, uh, damn. <laughs> yep. Guy got the death penalty and everything. They get around to hanging his ass, talk. Not yet, no. Oh, what the hell's taking him so long? Here. This is the money from that detective. The rest is yours. I already took my cut. Good. You're finally getting the hang of this whole debt collecting thing. Yeah, thanks to you. Hmm. <laughs> anyway, how's Kaito? Fine. You mind asking him something? How long's he gonna stick around? Not wise to stay in town after you get kicked out of the family. But, uh, I can look the other way since the boss likes you so much. Speaking of, how's Matsugane-san doing? None of your damn business, I'd say. Come on, let's go. The illustrious Captain Amuro, he's snide as ever. So, um, like I mentioned in episode one, I did play a little bit. Um, I played up to this part, but the thing is, street box, degenerate, low life, ruthless thug, and also, but teaching a lesson will make you some SP. Be warned, the cops will show up if they take too long. Okay. Um, I did play, but I had the Japanese uh language going, and so far, the translation um it's, it's actually kind of good it's smooth um even like the little change in subtitles like the change in pitch is good um i'm seeing like even like uh like in that last part you said none of your damn business um in the japanese like the subtitles literally read so it's not like you're a civvy now like basically so acquiring a skill book, skill books can be obtained as mini game prizes or side quests. Capture 2D code using a camera on your phone or drone and take a picture of 2D codes, completing side cases. Oh, oh, so that's how uh the skill books in this work. Porters to regular meals, eat to recover, chow down at one of the restaurants. The amount of health depends on what I order. If health is already full, I won't be able to eat. Also try getting to know the staff at these restaurants you visit, they may end up giving access to the secret menu. Oh, this is going to be amazing, guys. Pros and cons. To drink or not to drink. Kamarocho mini bars and dining establishment offers a wide section of alcohol. The, a the EX gauze charges up faster when drunk. 
Um, once consumes a certain amount of alcohol, he won't be able to drink anymore until he sobers up. However, he can acquire several skills that raise his alcohol times and makes him more functional at the bar. Valuable info. Valuables are important items often need to progress to, through the story or make use of certain facilities. You can check the valuables in your inventory by opening your smartphone and navigating to valuables. Hottest spots in town. Hangout spots, uh, which act as Yagami's primary source of information. Are frequently high hangout spots, gather new information on investigations, uh, may end up becoming powerful allies. What what icon is that? Is that like oh it's like a little flag. Okay. Check the uh, green icon at the top of the map to look at. Hey there, sorry son. Look, Doriaki. Extra fancy. Genda Law Office, where I used to work. Things haven't changed much these past three years. Hello, Yagami-san. Oh, hey, I didn't see you there. You, uh, getting situated? Yes. Everyone here is just great. Oh, so this is the new one. Issei Hoshino. So I hear you're good. You passed the bar with top marks and everything. <laughs> How'd you end up in this dump and not in a bigger office, huh? Huh? Well, you see, that's... Uh... I hear you over there, no. Yagami. Evening, Genda sensei Other than my real dad, there's two people I look up to like a father. Genda sensei is one of those people. He gave me a job here. Before I'd even gotten out of law school. What happened to that hater? Shintani Sensei out for the night? Oh. Uh, I can't keep track of that boy. I'm sure you're happy though. You don't have to deal with him. Huh? You two can't stand each other. You hate each other's guts. Be honest with me here. Uh, hold on now. Shintani's like a mentor to me. So, about that job you have. If you really want that job, you're gonna have to get along. So show your senpai a little more respect. Oh, Genda sensei. I got you some dorayaki. Just sit right there. I'll grab you one. Huh? <laughs> Sorry? <laughs> Did you eat them all? All but half. Hope you don't mind. <laughs> That's hilarious, yo. Say, sorry, son. Got any work lined up for me? Nope. Okay, so she's like the kind of hot, but you know, very unemotional type. Okay. I know you're looking for work, Yagami san, but. Asking you for favors feels strange. Why though? Why? So, what are the chances you've got some work for me, Genda Sensei? Work, huh? How long are you gonna keep doing this to yourself, Yagami? You know how dangerous this city is. Wouldn't be many cases for me if Kamrocha was a safe place. Uh huh. Cases like collecting debt for the Yakuza? Hey, better that than no work at all, am I right? You call that detective work? You're practically a mercenary. Fine by me. I was never too hung up on being a detective anyway. Listen, Yagami. Yeah? You ever thought about becoming a lawyer again? I haven't. And why is that? Take a good look at me, Genda Sensei. Mm hmm? These eyes aren't exactly the best judge of character. I think I made that clear three years ago. What use am I as a lawyer if I can't tell good from bad? Knock it off, Yagami. Stop beating yourself up. What happened to Emmy was tragic, yes. But it wasn't your fault. It doesn't matter whose fault it is. 
I never want to deal with something like that again. So, have any work for me? The guy's gotta stay busy, you know? Keeps me distracted from Emmy Chan and all that. It doesn't matter what you've got, just give me something. Uh, how about a divorce case? I have some evidence that needs collecting. It'll be the usual deal. Stake out a love hotel, snap some photos, tail the guy, dig through some trash. You in? I'm in. A job's a job. That is truth. Uh, I give up. I'll send you the details later. And next time, don't bring a gift, you hear? Doesn't feel right taking them from guys too broke to pay for them. Anything you say. So, he's going on the whole, I made a mistake. <laughs> I made a mistake tragedy and now I can't deal with the whole lone wolf thing. Get to law yeah. office. Yes. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yagami-san, that was Shintani sensei Hmm? Apparently, he wants your help gathering evidence for a murder. Huh? Since when are we working a murder case? This is the first I've heard of it, too. Go give Shintani a hand, Yagami. This blows that divorce I was gonna send you on out of the water. Been years since we had a murder case. Shintani Sensei says he's waiting for you at Tender, that bar on Taihei Boulevard. Tender? I'm there all the time. Just making sure. Are we doing karaoke or are we drinking? It's called Tender. On? Got my first job here 20 years back. Masada's son never changes. Running a bar must keep you young. Hey, Tuck. Shintani Sensei is in the back. Great. We've got some business to talk. <laughs> surprised to see me? Ooh. I'd be more surprised if I didn't. Who's that talk? A detective buddy? Not exactly, Mari. This one's a client. Hey, yo, she can get it. Like... <laughs> Won't be your client for long if you don't show up on time. You're late. Come on, you called me here totally out of the blue. Chill out, maybe. Huh, and I'm getting a drink. And I'm paying? Let's call it a business expense. Great, so now we have to talk with the hater. Here's Great. a familiar face. Kyohei Hamura from the Matsugane family. I ran into him earlier, actually. Take it he's your client? Yep, got hauled in earlier. You're charging him with murder. Whoa. Seriously? Seriously. So, the Matsugani Patriarch came to us for his defense. Genda Sensei is the go-to guy for all his legal problems, you know? How'd you end up in the driver's seat then? Genda Sensei gave him my card. Gotta say, not looking forward to defending a Yakuza. Tough luck, Yakuza. I guess. Anyway. You're coming with me to the station. Need to have a word with Hamura. You got way more Yakuza experience than me, after all. Yeah, I suppose I do. Let me give you a rundown of the case first. Now we talking. The victim was a Yakuza. A Kansai guy. Part of the Kyori clan. They found his body tossed in a dumpster just about a week ago. Hold on. This is... The guy who got his eyes gouged out? Yep. Cops think Hammer is the one who did it. Hell of a case, man. This is the third Yakuza they've found like this. Fortunately, we're not dealing with a triple homicide here, so the media isn't swarming. Hmm? Hammer's got an alibi for the first two incidents. His third murder is the only one they're pinning on him. So they won't admit the cases are connected? No. Makes sense. Three bodies and not a single suspect isn't exactly given the cops credibility. Guess they just want to get this case closed and move on, even if they have to force it through. And hey, the victim was Yakuza. Nobody really cares who hangs for it. Oh, oh, this is going to be like L.A. Noir. Yes.
Clever thinking is rewarded. As conversations progress, you may come across a point where you have to select the best response. During that critical thought process, you'll be able to gain an SP bonus you can sec consecutively select the best choices. To gather information as quickly as possible and efficiently as possible. If you choose unwisely, you lose your chance of getting that SP bonus. When you have the chance to get a bonus, the number of good choices will show at the top of the screen. The number of stars displayed represent the good choices within that selection. And, okay, and then there's only two. A murder where both the perpetrator and victim are yachts and no time to mess around. I need to get to the core of this case. Well, I... Well, I'm... Mm. So I would say one of my own um, correct choices would be these two. So let me go ahead. Why did they arrest him first? Because they're trying to just pin the murder on him. They need a scapegoat. They want to like close this case first. So why'd why they did come the after Hummer arrest? of all people? Two reasons. First, the victim was a Kansai Yakuza from a group that's been making inroads in Kamurocho and okay. picking fights with the Tojo clan along the way. Odds are this was a Tojo guy wanting to send a message. And as you know, Hamura fits the bill. And the other reason? Hamura and the victim were seen having a fight on the day of the crime. Oh. I'm guessing there's security camera footage then. Okay. So, I'm not ruling out did he kill him? Because we don't, there, we need more evidence to that point. But let's see what has, what has he said about it. Has Hamura said anything to you? Yeah. He told me he didn't do it. Claimed the cops were falsely accusing him. So he insists he's innocent, huh? I think I know enough. We should get to the station. You go on ahead. I got some calls to make first. Just take a cab there. Will do. So, I am not sure about Japanese police law. But, um, shouldn't his lawyer be there when we get there? So, new info has been added to your case for Kamurocho serial killing person agents updated. Kamurocho serial killing case synopsis updated. Let's just see the details. Okay. So, remaining case. Hey, yo, why is he smiling like that? So, he's a sus. This is actually kind of cool. So. More details, and now we probably just have to uh, figure out the evidence. Managing case files. Case files are not installed in Yagami's phone. I always make sorts and organize information. Check that, whatever you're not sure to do next. Case files are particularly handy when you want to progress the story. You can check people, evidence, and details concerning the main story, and every main case category was updated. Exclamation point will be displayed next. You can check the personnel, evidence, and details concerning your various side cases. Whenever side cases are updated, exclamation point will be displayed next to it. Leaving already, talk, And only one drink in. What can I say? I'm a busy man. Funny you should say that. Another customer of mine has a job for you. Seriously? I'll tell you about it when you're not so swamped, okay? Hey, I'm not about to pass up a paying gig. Then come back when you and Shintani sensei are done. Will do. We just keep running into each other tonight, eh, hey, Doc? Why the long face? Hamura-san. Uh, I'm Shintani from the Genda Law Office. The Matsugane family asked us to represent you. And I'm glad you said yes, Shintani-sensei. We're gonna get along real good. Just like my boss and Genda-sensei. Uh, right. Well, let's get started. I'll be taking point, while Yagami here will be doing the legwork to try and back up your claims. No better guy to do it. I'll do what I can. So, they brought you in under suspicion of murder. Can you tell me more about that? Huh? What do you want to know? Whether or not you killed the guy. Does it really matter? Your job's getting me out of this mess, regardless of the truth. Actually, it does. No, because if I find out you actually did it... You'll drop me? Better. I'll make sure the prosecution puts you away for life. This is bullshit! 
Just like you did that serial killer, huh? Uh, Yagami? All the evidence at the time pointed to Shinpei Okubo being innocent. That's why I chose to trust him. But then, that Okubo guy... Well, he proved us all wrong. Murdered his girlfriend in cold blood. Come on, Tark. Let's be honest about what you were really focused on at the time. The cheeks? You wanted that precious acquittal yep. so bad, you didn't even stop to think you were setting a murderer loose. Right? What happened to innocent until proven guilty? Try saying that to Emi Tarasawa's parents. That's why you quit, right? You couldn't face him. <clears throat> you think, um, Attention we could maybe here. get back to the case? Sure. Why not? You good to go? Damn it, guess this is just part of the job. I'm fine. Keep going. My apologies. Now, <clears throat> let's start with the victim. Toshiro Kume, 34 at his time of death. A member of the Kansai-based Kyori clan. Around 6 a.m. on the 4th of December, the police got a 110 call from someone who found his corpse in a pile of garbage. I hear you and this Kume had some kind of argument before he died. Yep. Did the police say what evidence points to you being the killer? Do they have anything substantial? Nope. Bastards are keeping their lips sealed. Ain't that right, Shintani-sensei? Yes. At this point in the investigation, the cops won't tell me what they've got against you. Your words are the only thing we'll have till the trial. <laughs> is what it is. Anything else you want to ask, Yagami? Okay, so we have three now. Um, well, let me let me check the alibi first. You have an alibi? What time did they think Kume died? Apparently between two and three in the morning. The cops were drilling me real hard about where I was around then. And? Where were you? At a sauna. A spot called Sauna Goten. Spent the night getting a steam. But there's no proof you were actually there, huh? No, otherwise you wouldn't be in here. Pretty much. Someone should have seen something, though. Um, but let me try police respond. Who's the detective in charge Fuck! of the case? Kuroiwa, from Organized Crime. Shintani Sensei is probably real familiar with him. I am. More so because he's one of those brutes with a badge. Pretty sure the Curie murders are his case. I can't stand him. Guy doesn't give a rat's ass about Yakuza. Well, well, there, there goes my SP. Well, might as well just ask all the questions now. Where did you and Kume have your fight? Out in front of a club, Amor. Over on Supon Street. Me and a few Matsugani boys had a little run in with a Kyori guy. Turns out that was your boy, Kume. And who started the fight? Who do you think? I'm not gonna let some Kansai punk strut around like he owns the place. I'd already thrown a few drinks back at that point, too. What time did this all go down? Just past nine. So what happened after you and Kume had your standoff? Went your separate ways? Nah, he tried to split, but I had my boys grab him. Dragged him into a moor. What? I... I thought it was just a little scuffle, though. You're saying you abducted Kume on a crowded public street? Yep, a moor is one of the family businesses. So I went in, kicked the customers out, and kicked the crap out of Kume. But I'm telling you, I didn't kill the guy. Just tossed him out the back door when I was done with him. I left right after, too. A few minutes before midnight. Uh-huh. So you were seen dragging Kume into the club, 
Then he was found in the morning with his eyes gouged out. <laughs> I'd arrest you too if I was a cop. What do we have on the victim? Toshiro Kume, 34. Run of the mill Kyori Grunt. Was Kume alone when you ran into him? Hard to believe he'd take that kind of risk in hostile territory. It was him and one more. Probably another Kyori asshole. Don't know his name, though. So there were two of them, and how many of you? I'd say there was probably five, including me. Why didn't you guys take Kume's friend in, too? <laughs> we tried. Bastard ran like the goddamn wind, though. Interesting. Okay. I think I've heard enough for now. We'll get going, then. It's actually really starting to Yagami. heat up. Head over okay. to Sonico 10 for me. See if Hammer's alibi holds water. All right. If we can prove he was there, we won't even have to go to trial. I'll give you a ring tomorrow for the report. Later. Well, it says he was the night of the crime. Excuse me. You work here? Yeah. Come on in, friend. Actually, I'm not a customer. Mind if I ask you a few questions? Sure, what do you need? I'm here about a murder. The Yakuza who had his eyes gouged out. Oh, a detective came by for the same thing. Wanted to know if their suspect was with us the night of the incident. And you are... a reporter? Something like that, yeah. And this is Hamura, captain of the Matsugane family. Did he come in on the night of the crime? I'll tell you the same thing I told the cops. I make it a point not to remember anyone specific, you know? This old man had remember Hamura's face, then he would have had an alibi. You get a lot of customers in and out, huh? Up to the last train, at least. From there, it's only in till morning. You know how it is. People drop in, wait for the trains to start up again. Same as any other night. Interesting. So everyone who comes in stays till morning, huh? And as long as I can prove Hummer was here, we'll have our alibi. Oh yeah, the cops mentioned something kind of similar. If I can prove that Hummer was here on the night of the crime, then I will solve everything. But there supposedly wasn't any promising evidence to point you to You guys don't alibi. have a security camera? Something we could check, see who was here? We do, but it deletes all its footage every three days. Privacy and all. Wow. It was already long gone by the time the cops came around. Wow. Got it. Thanks. Sorry to bother you. So he really doesn't have a substantial alibi. Right here. Excuse me. Oh. I'm looking for info on a Yakuza who stopped by Sonico 10 on the night of December 3rd. Did you see anything? This is the guy. Name's Hamura. I can't say I know him. There's tons of Yakuza around here. Though, now that you mention it, I remember something about a host getting smacked in the face that night. By a Yakuza? Yep. Don't think he got hurt too bad, though. Pretty sure it happened right around midnight. All this on the night of the incident. But when I went to check things out, the Yakuza was long gone. The host was just standing there shouting. That help at all? Hmm. Uh, any idea who the host was? Nah. I mean, they all kind of have that pretty boy look. Doubt I'd be able to recognize him if he was standing right in front of me. Does anyone else know about this? I don't know. Man, there's not much of a lead there. there. Thanks for your help. I must guess it's gonna wait, 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 wait. Oh, I thought there was something in the mailbox. 
Yo. You're still here? I thought you'd have left hours ago. I was gonna, but I realized all I'd do at home is pass out. Did go for a drink, though. Oh, now you're having another. You know that bottle's mine. <laughs> well, Genda Sensei give you any work? Yep, probably thanks to the Doriaki. He wants me to scrounge up some evidence for a murder trial. You got this from Genda? I thought it was all about civil suits now. Criminals don't pay the bills, right? Well, this one comes straight from Matsugane-san. Turns out, Hamura went and got himself arrested. What the hell? For one of those Kyori clan murders. You mean that eye-gouging shit? Mm-hmm. Just dropped by the jail to see him. He claims he's innocent, though. Huh. Crazy. Not interested? I can't say I blame you after what Hamra did. Booting you from the family was a low blow. If you want, I'll handle it solo. Look, don't worry about it. I'm the one who fucked up, not him. Either way, we've got the case. Count me in. <laughs> Good. Well, I should get some rest. Well, guys, I think that's it for now. Um, I'm actually about to eat. I will 